Hi YouTube, it's Wes Koya. Um, I just want to show you a neat little tweak that I found in Cydia. Now this helps out a lot. Uh, most people know that if you have a, an Android device or an iOS device that it's quite easier to find music on an Android device because all you need to do on an Android device is just search it up on Google and download it straight to your music folder um, or application and it'll be straight in there. But on an iOS device on the other hand um, you cannot download music off of Google and have it into your uh, music folder. It just doesn't happen. It won't be there. you got to pay for it. It's Apple's little scheme. It's working out quite fine for them because people do it, but um, I don't like doing it. So The other way you can do this is just you know get it off of your computer and transfer it to iTunes, but this is if you don't want to use your computer. You can easily just you know download this app and um, off Cydia, and it will really, really uh, make life a lot easier for you. So, um, like I say, you will need to have your iPhone Geo broken to do this. Um, it does work on iOS 7. That's a good thing. As you can see, it's fully Geo broken um, on iOS 7. There's all my uh, little city tweaks. I made a little folder for it. But the one that you need is uh, Music. I'm going to show you what it looks like in Cydia. Now, in Cydia, it looks like this. It has like a little FaceTime icon, and you can see I've downloaded it because it has that little check mark there. So once that's downloaded, all you have to do really is just go onto the little uh, music app with the picture of the cat and type in whatever song you want and then after that you just have to double tap the song and it'll put it into your transfers. When it's in your transfers, it'll have like a little bar saying how much it's downloaded and once it's downloaded, it'll be put into this folder here which you can then select the song and then, you know, just add it to your um, iPod which is quite easy to do and then it'll come onto a black screen it'll say that it's installing it to your uh, library and then you just have to there's a little ad thing that comes up and you just say later and then you go out of it and then you go into your actual music folder and as you can see this isn't genuine it's obviously you know it doesn't have the artwork that's one of the downsides that you want of your artwork but you will have the song and it will play fully and it will sound as if it just was downloaded it just won't have the artwork so um, it's very beneficial and it does work really well you'll hear it in a second that the song does work So it does work really well, um, just no artwork. So if you're one of the fans for artwork, then sorry, but this doesn't work. It just say you need to get music on the go. Just go on that app, and it will be put into your little music folder. And if you don't have a jailbroken device, uh, the only other way to do this is by getting another app and uh, just downloading the music straight to the, straight to, uh, to the other app. And that is very unbeneficial because then that will mean that you'll have to switch back and forth between apps because. Uh, they won't all be in one app. Like it'll, it'll give you another app that you have to use to download the music and play it. It won't put it into the, the music folder. So, yeah, that's about it. It really helps out a lot. And I hope you guys actually uh, try it out for yourself if you got a jailbroken iPhone because uh, it, it's really good. Just no artwork. But um, you'll find mostly any song that you want to find in that app and it will download it directly to your music. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And please leave a comment and a like and also subscribe if you if you want because you know it really helped me out I'm not that popular here and I would like to be uh, you know more popular so thanks and uh, see you guys